Hello everyone, welcome to Kitty Rising, where we use the tool of tarot to rise above and live our most abundant lives. Welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are looking at the next blessing that is coming into your life. So what blessing to expect next? We have three groups to choose from. This is group number one, group number two, and group number three. So use your intuition and see which card is calling to you most. Perhaps it's the image, the number, the card over here. There is no wrong answer. You can pause the video if you need more time. There will be timestamps and chapters down below, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome, group number one, to your reading. What blessing to expect next? You chose the card 13. This is the child card in the Lenormand. So um, this could be quite literal for some people here, perhaps um, a baby, <laughs> uh, if that is something you are wanting. There could be a baby here, because this could indicate a baby, a child, sometimes even a teenager. Uh, there could be something that has to do with your child if you have current children right now. Um, they could have some kind of milestone or accomplishment that affects you as well, that really makes you happy, that you view as a blessing. Um, but aside from literal children, this could mean the start of something new, a beginning of some sort. Sort. Mm -hmm. And also a lot of like childlike wonder and awe, a lot of youthful energy, feeling really like great vitality, healthy, alive, and vibrant. So we're going to get more cards out to get more details on what this new beginning is or what this has to do with your children. We're going to get all the information for you on the next blessing coming into your life. So we're going to start off with some Kipper cards today. Spirit, well, first off, thank you, group number one. <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being here today. Thank you to your spirit team, to my spirit team, for assisting with today's reading. Spirit, what blessing is happening next for group number one? We have here high honor. Ooh, okay, so some of your kids could be getting... Um, honors in school, or this could be you as well. You could be getting, you know, definitely graduating with honors or getting really high marks in school. Again, your child or you, if you are taking classes, you could also be getting recognized um, for work. And maybe this new beginning could be, you can be getting some sort of advancements, advancement in your career, in your workplace, getting a lot of, you know, honor and respect coming towards you. But yeah, for those with kids, I really do see that they're like doing well in school, um, reaching some sort of milestone. If they're in that place of life, maybe even getting on the honor roll or something like that. Um, this is a timeless reading, but I think oh, it's spring break when I'm filming this. <laughs> so there's only a couple months left of the school year. What is going on the next... What am I talking about? What is the blessing that's happening next? <laughs> Excuse me. What is the blessing that's happening next for group number one? Official person. Wow, these two cards together, they're pretty similar. Yes, this is seriously, there's some sort of promotion going on, some sort of recognition, some sort of reward, um, award being given to group number one. Or again, for some of you, it will be to your child. You could be yeah, definitely getting some award recognition that is so obvious with these cards here. Wow. Yeah, definitely could be getting a leadership role, a promotion. A lot of honor and respect is coming to you, and it's going to be such a blessing. And it seems like it's really well-deserved as well, group number one, so congrats. What blessing is happening next for group number one? Toil and labor. Yes, I was just, it's so funny when like the cards come out, like we were just talking about, like well-deserved, like you've been working really hard. Um, so spirit is really um, confirming that this, a lot of you, this blessing is going to be getting recognition for your hard work, getting a promotion at your job, getting a leadership role, you know, maybe starting a new job where you have that leadership role, where you have more respect, where people really respect you in the workplace. Maybe in the past you've had bosses or coworkers that really didn't do so. I feel like there's some new position coming. 
um, new promotion where you're getting a lot of respect and autonomy. And I feel like you really could be a leader manager of some sort, but you're no matter what there is an award and recognition coming for your hard work, whatever you've been working on, a lot of honor and respect coming to you. My beautiful group number ones, let's get some tarot out to get some more information here for you. Spirit, what blessing is coming next for group number one? What blessing is coming for group number one? And just to say it again, for those who this could have to do with your children, it could be your kids been putting in a lot of work and effort to get their grades up to work on something, and you're a really proud parent here. <laughs> but for a lot of you, this will be your accomplishment specifically. But what, even when it's your kids, that's amazing. I think that's a blessing because we want the best for our children, don't we? So I'm like saying that as I look at my cat right now. <laughs> okay. Sphere. Oh, hi. Do you guys hear that? Hi, baby. I'll give you a little pat. See, our, our babies need some <laughs> reward and recognition for just being so good. Okay. What blessing is coming next for group number one? We have the King of Swords. Yeah, this is a very intelligent card, so I feel like that goes with everything we've been talking about with school and work. Um, but the King of Swords is also a leader, the, the king, you know? So I feel like there's definitely a leadership role coming for a lot of you. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have some uh, um, energy, some air energy that could be confirmation for some of you, but if not, it's okay. So you could be an air sign or your child could or someone you're dealing with, or you could have a lot of air in your chart. Uh, the air signs are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Mm -hmm. but I feel like you guys are like really smart, great leaders. You're great critical thinkers, and you've been you know putting in a lot of effort at whatever it is you're working on. In that respect, and honor and promotion, and you know whatever it is, maybe raise is coming to you. Leadership position, new project. Yeah, the child card could talk about a new project too, and that new project could be something you're working hard on. That uh, a lot of respect and honor and all good things come from. Spirit, can you give us more information on the next blessing that group number one is going to experience? We have the Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of forward momentum here, a lot of forward progress. Um, I feel like things are going to be like busy. You're going to have a lot going on, but I feel like this is also a card of teamwork, people working in unison together, working well together. So I feel like you could be leading a project and leading a team. That's um, really great here. Um, there can also be some travel, especially air travel coming for you. Um, so some of you guys, maybe you are traveling for a new position for a new job or your new position at work or this new promotion or raise is giving you the ability to travel to have more time to travel, more resources, more money to travel. What is this blessing coming next for group number one? And then we have the Ten of Wands, which also looks like a travel, you know, she's navigating, she's traveling. Um, so I feel like this has been a long road, winding road for you. Like, you know, you've been working really hard, really working at whatever this is, putting in the time and the effort here and whatever this is. And now you are able to like go on to this next phase of life where work is, you know, a bit easier, less stressful. Maybe there's still, you know, responsibilities and stuff. You're going to definitely be a leadership, but maybe you're not having to work as hard, not having to stress as much about money. Mm -hmm. Let's get another tarot card. There's definitely a new beginning coming here for you guys with all of this. Confirmed twice here with the child card and then the tens. The tens are endings and new beginnings. And a lot of you guys really will be um, traveling for this new position or this new job or, again, perhaps your child is. Or it's just really representing like how far you've traveled in life and how far you've come and you're really being recognized for that. And then we have the Ace of Cups, which is also about a new beginning. And this is something that is going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you. You're going to be satisfied, you know, with this, you know, you're going to have this new love for your child or baby. <laughs> um, this, you know, this emotionally like satisfying new position where you feel really supported Um and I feel like there's a lot of generous blessings coming your way, but I feel like you're very happy. There's a, a new emotional beginning here. And again, the things I'm seeing 
Um, just want to go over it one more time since this is a general reading. So the, the main blessings I'm seeing here for group number one, the first thing we saw was that um, for those trying, you know, this is going to be something that you are wanting, there could be a baby here. Um, but for most of you, this will be, you know, your child having some, like getting honors or doing really well in school and, or whatever it is they're working on. Maybe they're older and they're getting this promotion. Um, but even more of you, this is about you and your work and your career and you are really making forward progress. Um, you're getting that promotion. You're getting that raise. And some of you guys will now be able to travel or could be traveling at work. And this new position you're getting, this new beginning that's happening is going to be very emotionally satisfying, very fulfilling and you are going to be very, very happy and really energized by this. Even if you're still busy, things are going well. You're feeling good. You know, I feel like it's the end of a hard time, end of working really hard at something. So you could be finishing a project and starting something new. But, or you can just be leaving a job and starting something new and the old job was just really strenuous and wasn't satisfying to you. And now you're moving to a position where you do feel really happy, where people around you respect you. You have a leadership role. You are, you know, you really love what you do and it shows and you're really being compensated for that. Awesome. <laughs> so that concludes your reading. What blessing to expect next for group number one? I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. If it didn't, be sure to check out one of the other readings. Um, but I hope this one did. I hope you got messages and guidance you needed at this time. If you did enjoy this reading, uh, please subscribe. If you haven't already, like this video, it really helps me out and lets me know you enjoyed the reading and got value from it. If you want, leave a comment. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, my email is down below. I'm truly so grateful you're here, group number one. I love you guys so, so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, group number one. Welcome, group number two, to your reading. What blessing to expect next? You chose card number 36, The Crossing. So the major blessing coming to you all is the end of suffering, the end of grief. So we're going to get more information on how this is happening and, you know, what's going on and what specific grief or suffering. But no matter what, this is a general reading, but whatever has been really difficult in your life lately, whatever, you know, grief you've been going through, suffering, that is coming to an end. It's the end of hard times for group number two. So we're going to start off with the Kipper cards today, but first I want to take a moment to say thank you. Thank you so much, group number two, for being here. Thank you for your precious time. Thank you to your spirit team, to my spirit team, for assisting with today's reading. Spirit, what blessing is coming next for group number two? High honor. Interesting. This is like the first one that came out in the last group, too. Hmm. So yeah, a lot of you guys, maybe you've been in situations lately where you feel like, you know, you just can't catch a break. Everything has been so difficult. You've been really trying hard, really working hard. I feel like you're finally being recognized and um, rewarded for all the hard work, all the st stuff, all the pain, everything you've been going through. It's like coming full circle now. And I feel like now you're like reaping the rewards of maybe some suffering, like seeing the silver lining of things, maybe because of past experiences, may, perhaps they're very difficult and really challenging. They're leading you to maybe a new job position, um, respect from your community. Let's get some more cards out to see how this, oh, this card wanted to flip over. Wow. So for those who have been suffering financially, there is money coming. It's the end of a tough time financially. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be receiving some sort of, um, you know, financial assistance. You're going to be maybe getting promoted with this high honor here in this wealthy man card. Together, yeah, there could be a promotion, a new job, um, more money coming in. There could be a specific wealthy man coming into your life that really helps you out. But no matter what your gender is, um, with the high honor and wealthy man, this is you. You're like you're having a hard time. You've been working hard. You're getting the credit you deserve. You're getting that higher income, that um, that raise, that bonus. Just this new influx of money that's really going to help you get out of this state of worry and fear and financial disarray that you have been in. 
and maybe you haven't been necessarily in that, but I feel like for most people for this group, this money is not very needed. Um, for those of you, it's not necessarily about the money. It could be about getting that new job or new position at work or just getting respected by people. And also this could be a new person coming into your life that um, fits this wealthy man description. But yeah, for most of you, I feel like you are the ones that are getting um, more financial abundance coming into your life. And it is much needed and wanted at this time. Spirit, tell me more about this blessing that's coming towards group number two. Thoughts. Wow, and on the bottom we have courtship. So some of you guys really could be... Um, starting a relationship with someone who has money um, or together you guys, you know, could bring forth money here. Let me, um, wow. And right under that we have main mail. So yeah, I'm seeing a few things. We're going to say or list them all again just quick because this is a general reading, but for a lot of you, no matter what you're, you're, it's the end of suffering and there's more money coming in. There's a raise, you know, a promotion, a new job. And um, for some of you also, there's a new relationship coming into your life, perhaps with a wealthy man, someone very abundant, someone who thinks very highly of you. This could be someone you've been thinking of a lot, someone you've been wanting to be with. Maybe there's been a hard time with this specific person and now you will be dating again or with each other again. But this person, you know, thinks highly of you, really supports you, respects you. So yeah, maybe there's been a long history of relationships that have been very tough, very toxic. There could be someone coming in who respects you. That's what this high honor. They honor you, you know, they honor your boundaries. They support you. They're very supportive with their resources as well. They think so highly of you and they want to be with you and start dating you. You know, this could, they're, they're courting you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ooh, okay, let's get some more information here. And again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a man, since this is a general reading, but for a lot of you, this will be a male coming into your life, because we have main male on the bottom of the deck as well. Spirit, tell me more about this blessing coming in for group number two. We have seven of pentacles and the five of wands. Yeah, it's the end of conflict. I feel like there's been a lot of relationships maybe in your life where there's a lot of butting heads, a lot of arguments. And now it's like a new relationship is blooming. And also with the Seven of Pentacles, it's like it's finally starting to sprout here. You see this plant from the roots here. So it's like maybe you've been working really hard and now you're starting to see that financial increase, more abundance in your life. You know, you're starting to see like the fruits of your labor. You're starting to see more money come in. Tell me more about this blessing for group number two, please. We have the four of swords. Yeah, your heart is healing because, you know, it's the end of the suffering. Your heart's healing. You, you've gotten, like, the needed rest and recovery, and now you're um, ready to step into the next phase of your life. This new relationship, this new financial status, more abundance, That you know, you're healing from a relationship or in a situation ship or job or situ you know, whatever it is for you that's been, you know, was a little toxic and difficult and challenging. You're now, you know, healing from that and you're now rested and feeling good and now you're able to take on this new position, take on this new relationship and thrive. Whoa. Wow. Thrive. When I said thrive, the freaking ten of pentacles came out. <laughs> this is the wealth card. You are definitely stepping into more money. You know, and again, this could be through relationship, through your hard work, both and this is like a family business here. This is a, a like, you know, generational wealth. So you could really be starting a relationship or your current relationship. You guys could be really stepping into some money, maybe starting a, a family business. But there's definitely more wealth, more money coming to you. My beautiful group number twos. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck here, we have the six of wands, which is success, victory, recognition, Support from your community. This is beautiful. 
So let's just wrap up this again for you. It's very clear here. The main blessing for group number two is the end of a hard financial time, especially the end of suffering, the end of difficult times. There is more money coming in. For a lot of you, there is a relationship. It could be a current one or a new one coming in that is very supportive. They respect you. They value you, you know, and they really like recognize you for all of your beauty, your gifts, your talents, your presence. And there's just a lot of money and support coming in all directions here for group number two. And some of you guys, yeah, there could be like an advancement in your career as well. There's so many different avenues I'm seeing here for group number two to be making more money and to have more of a community support, especially in terms of your romantic relationships and your family. So group number <laughs> two, expect some money coming in and this relationship that could be very supportive in multiple ways. <laughs> hmm. That concludes your reading, the blessing to expect next. I hope this resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward to this blessing. I know I sure was. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Leave a comment if you wish. If you would like to book a private reading with me, my email is down below. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I wish you all the best. I love you so, so much, group number two, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Welcome, group number three, to your reading. What blessing to expect next? You chose card number 42, the compass. So for a lot of you, this next blessing will be travel. You can be traveling to a location you've always wanted to go or someplace you've wanted to see. Or this could be a brand new spur of the moment trip, like a last minute trip or special invite or like a winning or some sort. But there's definitely travel on the horizon for group number three. This can also talk about like the journey of life, like a lot of forward progress in something you've been working on um, or just life in general. You could really be going to like the next level of life, the next stage of life. Um, there's really a lot of movement here. Again, this could be sp like spiritually, like mental um, movement. And also for most of you, I'm seeing this is a physical movement distance. You know, you're traveling, going on a trip. We're going to get some more information for you. Thank you so much for being here at group number three. Thank you to your spirit team, to my spirit team for assisting with today's reading. Spirit, what blessing is coming next for group number three? Message. I kind of got this like feeling for a lot of you, this will be like an invite. You're going to get something in the mail, maybe an invite to like go to a destination wedding or something like that. You could be getting a text message or email from someone you know asking you if you want to go on a trip. You could be getting like news that you like won some prize. I don't know. I just feel like this is kind of, um, for a lot of you, like a last minute like surprise thing and like gifted to you as well. Like someone being like, hey, I want to come to Hawaii with me or, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> um, but you're going to get news of this a message and invite to travel. Spirit, what blessing is coming next for group number three? Concern. So a lot of you guys, maybe you've been worried about something and that's what's been keeping you from traveling or moving forward in life. Some of you guys, maybe the, that this doesn't have to do with, um, for those of you that this doesn't have to do with physical travel, um, maybe you have been really worried about life. Like you don't really know what direction you're headed. You're really worried about wh what's next, what to do next, how you're going to get out of a situation. You're, this will be um, the end of concerns and forward progress, forward momentum from this bad or tough situation. You could be seeing angel numbers a lot. Um, particularly 33, but it could be any number. And that is your angels letting you know you are on the right path. Things are going to get better. And you could be really getting some good news that eases your concerns. Like some of you guys, this could be like lab results or something like that. Or maybe, you know, this could be getting something in the mail, like a check, some money, um, or, you know, news from someone you've been really worried about. 
and now you're able to move on from this situation with like, you know, feeling good about it, you're the end of your concerns. Spirit, can you give us more information on this, please, and the blessing coming next. Thief. Wow, and on the bottom we have distant horizons, which we were talking about travel. So yeah, that's confirmation again that for a lot of you this could be travel, but again, for others of you, this could be moving on from a tough situation that has to do with maybe you're worried you didn't, someone stole your money or you don't have the money to do something. Um, maybe you feel like someone like took advantage of you in some sort. Like what, the concern and thief here together, you're finding out that you're able to move on from a tough situation. A lot of you guys really could have had a tough time. Maybe a family member or someone that was close to you, like, ended up taking some money or you felt or maybe there was some weird situation where like there was a scam or like you lost money in some sense you you could be getting a check in the mail that could be resolving but it's the end of this tough situation you're ma able to move on from it you're getting news about this you're able to move on and move forward with your life and no longer worry about this uh, others of you, I mean, maybe it's both for some of you. It's you're getting news that you are able to travel, and this could be this is like long distance travel. Some of you guys could be going abroad, overseas, but it's distant horizon. You're definitely moving forward from a tough situation and also traveling long distance. <laughs> Spirit, tell me more about this blessing coming for group number three. Thank you. Wow, and under that, it's gift. So I feel like, yeah, a lot of you guys will be, like, gifted this travel or gifted some money, whatever this is, you know, for you. Free trip. Spirit, can you give me more information on the blessing coming for group number three? Four of Swords. Yeah, you're going to be able to rest easy knowing that it's the end of this hard situation, that you're, you know, you're healing, you're able to move forward with this. And also, you know, leave your house. This is like the nest. You know, some of you guys will be able to um, get out of the house, but I feel like you're going to be sleeping better, less stress for sure. Can you tell me more, Spirit? Ooh, Ace of Cups. Yeah, there's definitely a new emotional beginning here. You're feeling happier. You're able to rest with two hearts here. You're able to move on from these concerns, from people. Maybe you like had um, issues with like a narcissist type energy. I'm kind of sensing you're you're moving on from that. So you guys could be moving on to a new love. You know, this new stage of life could be a new relationship, new love. After you had a concerning relationship in the past, now you're moving on. You're moving on from this past relationship and moving towards a new love. Oop. Page of Wands. Yeah, this is a new beginning. This Page of Wands is also about travel, adventure. For most of you, this is about going on a travel adventure, going on an adventure in general. And, like, you know, a lot of this could all be twisting together. Like, some of you guys could be going on this trip with a new partner, a new love. Some of you guys could be going on this trip to help get over, so you know, to help move past a difficult time, and it really does help. I see you guys are feeling a lot happier. You're feeling more well-rested. You have all this energy. Spirit, tell me more about this blessing coming for group number three. Eight of Wands, air travel. <laughs> this is like a travel card, especially air travel. Yeah, you guys cannot deny that travel is coming for most of you, yeah. Or for group number three in general. <laughs> Spirit, can we get one more card, please? Tell me more about the blessing coming towards group number three. Queen of Wands. Yeah, you guys are feeling vibrant. You have all this energy. You're excited. There's more passion in your life. You're feeling confident. Wow. You guys are really going to be embarking on a fun adventure. Something that really lights you up, that makes you, makes you forget about whatever happened in the past. You're moving on, you're traveling, you're experiencing new things, new people. There is so much passion and light and fun coming for group number three. 
especially, you know, those who have been going through a difficult time. You're going to be able to move past this and enjoy life again, experience new things, new places. And how wonderful is that, group number three? I love this for you. <laughs> I This concludes your reading. What blessing to expect next. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this resonated. I hope it excites you. <laughs> if you did enjoy this reading, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you want. It really helps me out. Leave a comment. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, my email is always down below. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I love you guys so, so much. I wish you all the best. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, group number three.